We're waiting too long to go after Kilbane. I was thinking the same thing. Come to the Broken Shillelagh. We can all talk there. I am done fucking around. I want Kilbane. You want to hurt Kilbane? You gotta hurt his reputation. So what, we humiliate him? <sighs> Can't we just kill the bastard? Take Kilbane's mask and all that's left is Eddie Pryor. It's worse than killing him. I don't know, this is more Angel's thing. Kilbane would never agree to fight Angel. <laughs> He's more scared of Angel than me? Yeah, no offense, but you're kind of ridiculous. Relax. You don't look hot in the speedo. Casey left you that weapon. What? The RC gun. You'll need it to take control of the Luchador's vehicle. Why not just shoot them? These are supposed to look like accidents, remember? Will I be able to use it from this high? Mm -hmm. Right. Is Kilbane really that afraid of you? No, he's not better than him. And you think he'll fight me? If there's no more contenders, he'll have to. Easier just to kill him. Easier, yes. But nothing worth doing is easy. When you raise Kilbane's mask to the screaming crowd, you'll know you made the right choice. I'll take your word for it. That's right, folks. Get those hepatitis vaccines updated because the blood will be flying soon at Murderball 31. Right you are, Zach. And who better to announce the official lineup than the champion himself, Kilbane? Oh, you know, opponents have been arriving from all over to face their fears and meet the architect of their demise. So stay tuned as the press conference will be coming to you live from the Three Count Casino within the hour. I can't wait. That witch door heading towards the car is the Mad Mangler, Little Roberts. Mad Mangler, huh? So running over a bunch of people is probably his hobby. Uh, actually, he's pretty laid right back. Fine, roid rage then. Work with me here, Angel. Let's get to the press conference. Hey, what's wrong with this car? Time to clear the sidewalks. Mad Mangler, huh? So running over a bunch of people is probably his hobby. Uh, actually, he's pretty laid back. Fine, roid rage then. Work with me here, Angel. Let's get to the press conference. Hey, what's wrong with this car? Oh god, I didn't do that.
really should have laid out the juice. Who's next? Just through the Club of Johnson. He should be on his boat now. Wonder there are no seals around here. Breaking news. Minutes ago, mad mangler Merle Roberts, a luchador slated to compete in the upcoming Murder Brawl 31, ran over several pedestrians in what witnesses say was a rage-induced vehicular massacre. His body is being pulled out of the fiery wreckage as his career ended at a dead end. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. This thing's pretty fun, Kenzie. Couple of one night and three together. You really need to get laid. Electronics are good for that too. Uh, wow. Things. Not as dangerous as helicopters. Trash can Teddy is on a sky tour of the city. How do you know all this shit? Know your enemy. Know yourself. More breaking news. Blood has chummed the water of Steelport as two boats lost control within minutes of each other, resulting in the deaths of the drivers, other boaters, and partygoers on a nearby pier. Is this a boating stunt gone horribly wrong, or is death smoothing out a wrinkle in his design? This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. Did he just jump out? No, that was the pilot. Crash cam must be flying now. Don't look. Oh, that's done. There any more? I've saved the worst for last. El Presidente. What's the problem? Uh, he's reached out to Stag for protection. He's afraid that Kilbane will try to kill him before the match. He's half right. Time to take over a tank. Look, Stag's about to cause an accident. just in. It was shades of the great bootlegger recall of Aught 7, as yet another mechanical failure resulted in a fatal mid-air helicopter crash. Citizens of Steelport, a word of advice. Pull over now. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stillwater Butcher has graced us with their presence. You want to fight the best? You fight me. The best? <laughs> the best is beating Sway the Spider God in a Tijuana scaffold match. The best is defending the world title 13 times in one night. The best is winning a last man standing match with two broken legs! Trust me, little Icarus. You're flying too close to the sun. Oh, my God. Quit being a bitch and put your mask up. 
If you want to be broken by the walking apocalypse, I will gladly oblige you. Angel, what advice can you give me for my fight with Kilbane? Don't fight him. You know I have to. Let me do it. Angel... I've been living with the shame for years. Give me the chance to make it right. You think you can beat him? All I need is the opportunity. All right. How can I help? Before I can fight, I need to reclaim my honor. How do you do that? Meet me at the Three Count Casino, and I'll show you. Okay, so why are we here? Losing his mask is the ultimate shame a luchador can feel. I can't steal it back. I need to earn it. All right, how do we do that? We hurt a lot of people. Okay, so what's the plan here? We tear this place apart until someone who knows where my mask is shows. What happened to earning it? This is close enough. Whatever you say, boss. Good to be the king. Have a little chat then. What are you doing in my casino? Where is Kilbane keeping my mask? Okay, okay. This has got to be in the vault behind the Cala cages. If you knew he kept your mask, why didn't you look for it earlier? He broke my spirit. I didn't think I was worthy enough to get it back. What changed? Meeting the Saints. And it's the real thing? I know every curve, every color, every mark on this mask. Then put that thing on and let's go! Angel de la Muerte is reborn! And we get our asses out of here. Not yet. It's time to send Kilbane a message. Start with those statues. Hey, let's tear this place up. Greatest! This is therapeutic! Cheap craftsmanship. I need cover, asshole! Think you'll get the message. This place already looks better. How many does he need? I wish I had a picture of this. I want to look at these anyway.
are gonna own this city. Tonight's been a great night, and it's not slowing up, Bobby. An incredible night, Zach. And now, it's time for the main event. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> there he is, Bobby. Eddie Kilbane Pryor, the walking apocalypse himself. You can't help but wonder how the Stillwater Butcher can't compete. I'll tell you, Zach, this psycho is a complete whack job. <laughs> you know, when he came out of the womb, this guy literally choked out the doctor with his own umbilical cord. He's that fucking sick. I'll be ringside keeping luchadors off your ass while you finish Kilbane. Good luck, man. There it is, Bobby. The Saints receiving no love here. Not at all. It is raining hate down where they are. And of course it is. After what their capo did to Stillwater, they're lucky the fans aren't knifing them on their way to the ring. Wait, oh my God, look at that. It's Angel de la Muerte. Angel de la Muerte, the second half of a pale riders, sometimes regarded as the herald of a walking apocalypse. The youngest wrestler to ever win the Super K Cup is here in the Steel Fort Arena. History is writing itself tonight, Zach. After his questionable loss to Kilbane years ago, Angel dropped off the face of the earth. If you're a fan of Murder Brawl, this is shaping up to be the best night of your life. Time to get to work. All right, here we go. And here's the Butcher of Stillwater, Swagger at end. And speaking of surprises, here comes the Luchadors in force. The Butcher getting some help from the fans. This has just turned into a lumberjack match. What was that? The Luchadors are on the side of the ring again. Don't think I'm forgetting what we were talking about, Bobby. All right, Bobby, you know, this is a classic matchup. Speed versus power, youth versus age, brains versus brawn. Well, you know, the fact that these two are tag team partners really adds another layer to the whole dimension. They train together. They know what to expect. One wrong move can end the entire match, and you got to wonder if Angel is going to be able to keep his cool. You know, you're right, Bobby. The last time these two fought, Angel lost his mask to Kilbane, the greatest mark of shame in the Lucha Libre world. It's been years that had to be eating away at him. This is punishing to watch. The luchadors are manhandling him. This is sick. He's getting kicked around like a sack full of dead puppies. Oh, geez. Wait, the Butcher of Stillwater is making his way towards Angel. How much can one person be expected to... Oh my god, a chainsaw! What the f***? Oh my god. A fatal flaw in the luchadors' plan, Bobby. They didn't account for the murder brawl chainsaw. It was a desperate move for a desperate time, but it looks like the gamble has paid off. Now this is what people came here to see. The Butcher of Stillwater on an unstoppable rampage. Kilbane can't be happy to see this. It's gotta be getting slick on that floor. Hey, I gotta get my grandma to get the mop. Look how far that spray went. Towel, please. Angel, can you fight? I think I broke my leg. Get in there and kick that bastard's ass. I can hold off these jobbers. Well, it looks like people are going to see the fight they paid for as the Butcher of Stillwater stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kilbane. Now, this is classic Saints tactics. Use someone to weaken up the opponent and then swoop out in for the kill. I already beat your champion. Now, kneel before the walking apocalypse! I am going to rip that mask off your fucking face! When I'm through with you, you'll be begging for me to kill you! This is it, folks. Two giants in the field of destruction facing off for our entertainment. Does it get any better than this? No, it doesn't. Though only one of these two has... Kilbane winds up! 
He dodged it. Here comes the reversal. Look at the brutality from the Butcher. I think you'd have to be naive to believe a giant like Kilbane hasn't thrown in a few punches here and there outside the ropes, Bobby. Not like the punches being thrown in here tonight, Zach. Both of our contenders seem to be out for blood. Kilbane isn't bowing down to the Butcher anytime soon. But this celebrity of the streets isn't making it easy on Kilbane. There seems to be something more going on than two world-renowned titans wishing to settle who rules the mountain. Oh, my God! And Kilbane goes sailing out of the ring! Yours. But wait, he's already heading back in. Looks like the Stillwater Butcher isn't getting a moment's rest tonight. That's right, Zach. There are no free rides against the walking apocalypse. You betcha. No matter who wins tonight, someone is going home with crushed dreams and internal bleeding. The crowd can't get enough of the carnage, and quite frankly, Zach, neither can I. Oh, yeah. Another kill switch. Another miss from Kilbane. The champion cannot be happy with that one, Zach. Luchadors in his place. Murder Brawl is certainly giving the finest and blood gushing, bone mashing entertainment tonight, Bobby. My heart goes out for the cleanup crew on this one, Zach. Give it up while you can still walk. You won't even realize how insignificant you are. And here comes the kill song. Unbelievable! This is incredible! The Killbane just can't connect with the kill switch. Up? Wait! I'll give you the secret of the Apocalypse. Just leave me my mask! We want blood! 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 Smile, Kilbane. We're going nationwide. No! Oh, wow! It's shades of Angel de la as Kilbane has been demasked. Yes, we have seen the face of the walking apocalypse. And to be honest, it's a man with the receding hairline. They gotta love it. Against all odds, the Saints are still standing. What a night, Zach. What a night. Kilbane, it's just a match. It's my fucking reputation! This is my city. I am it, Caesar! Oh. And I get to fiddle while it burns. attendance will ever forget the incredible spectacle that was Murder Brawl 31. The capacity crowd anticipating a grudge match between Eddie Kilbane Pryor and the Butcher of Stillwater was first shocked and delighted by the stunning return of Kilbane's former tag team partner Angel de la Muerte. 
In the end, it was the Butcher of Stillwater who stole the show by dealing Kilbane a crushing and humiliating defeat. This may have been the final page of Kilbane's storied career, but with the return of Ankel and emergence of the Butcher, Motor Brawl fans are too excited to care. This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport Fight Night News.